Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to this new episode of Hit the Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If you're just discovering this series, welcome. What I do here is take intros, licks, riffs, famous bits of songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. As per usual, this is a recommendation based format, so whatever song you'd like to see here, put it down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as possible. While you're down there, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel. Thank you very, very much in advance. And with that said, let's start with today's song, which is Lateralis by Tool. I'm gonna start this video with a serious disclaimer that I'm, I am by no means trying to say that this is the Tool sound. This is a lesson, this is a very basic setup for you to get close to the sound at home, but this is completely unrealistic to say that I'm getting anywhere near Adams Jones actual guitar sound. But I'm gonna try my best to help you understand how he gets his tone, how I'm getting to the tone I'm gonna get, and how he plays the song. Let's start with the guitar. Uh, Adam Jones is very famous for his Gibson Les Paul Custom Silver Burst. Now we don't have a Silver Burst in the shop, but for this occasion I thought there is no way I'm going around this by using another guitar, so I took this absolutely gorgeous Les Paul Custom Although this is not a Seymour Duncan uh, in the bridge, this is a medium to high output uh, humbucker as well, so I think that'll do just fine. Uh, I did not put a nail or screw in the back, so I, th therefore I'm disqualified already. I can't sound like him. But yeah, that's the guitar for today, and that's the basic sound in the bridge position. Now I'm very sorry in advance that you feel like the amp is a bit noisy. It is, and I'm gonna explain why just now. Same as for the guitar, I decided it was a good time to start shaking things up a little. You've always seen me with the Fender Tweed in here, and it's an incredible amp. I love it, it's a great pedal platform. But as today I'm gonna to be shooting a lot more of uh, Gibson into Marshall kind of things, I went for this uh, JCM 800 Lead Series Studio, which is basically a smaller uh, version of the legendary JCM 800. Now before you get started, in the comments, I know Adam Jones didn't use uh, a JCM 800. He went for Marshall Super Bass, Transistor Heads, uh, other Diesel VH4, went for some uh, Bogner at some point, and on the Lateralis album, as far as I could find out on the internet, there was a Sun Beta Lead um, solid state head as well. Most of these amps are discontinued now and some others are just very inconvenient like I couldn't crank a diesel VH4 in that room without damaging the room I think the house probably myself definitely <laughs> but I went for this amp because it is the classic Marshall sound it is the classic Marshall overdrive as well because I'm running it with the preamp completely cranked and that explained one on the on, on the first part of the introduction I will only turn my volume on the guitar up to two or three and this is why in the first part of the introduction on that clean tone I thought it was a, a better choice to make that concession and have a little bit of noise rather than having a clean tone and driving the amp with pedals. But basically the first part is the amp with the settings as you see them now, the guitar volume on two or three, and I'm gonna be adding delay and sl a slight bit of reverb with the Dispatch Master by Earthquaker Devices. And it sounds like this. Thank you. 
And now for the main riff, the idea is to give your guitar sound as much volume as you possibly can because all in all we're trying to emulate at least a 3 amp setup, a 3 100 watt amp setup with a very small combo here. So what I thought would work and is what I went for is I'm going to use a tube screamer, the right side of the JHS pedal um, double barrel and I'm going to use the clean blend on it quite a bit. So that means part of my guitar signal is going to go through unaffected and just hit the amp with the Marshall overdrive, the preamp overdrive. And at the same time, the other half of my sound is going to be drastically boosted uh, in volume and hit the preamp a lot harder. So that means I do have sort of a, a two-stage crunch and higher gain uh, signal going through. And I feel like it does give it a lot more, you know, oomph. If that's a word, I'm not too sure. But basically, turning that pedal on and the volume on 10 on the guitar will take us there. It's also obviously the classic Marshall trick to be using a tube screamer in front of it to tighten the low end and making it sound a lot more focused than if you were just to use the amp overdrive. And with all of that said, let's start with the third and last part of that video, which is definitely the most important and is how to play the song. As for the amp and pedal setup, I'm going to be dividing this explanation into two bits, the cleanish part of it and then the main riff for the song. Now, if you need more time to practice it, the tabs will be as usual linked in the description box down below. I also forgot to mention that there will be a link to everything that I'm using today if you need more details and I will put some more options for you at different price points that can help you get closer to that tone. Again, I'm Far from it, but closer. And now onto the first part of the introduction. I'm going to start by showing you the fretting hand. Nothing to complicate it with this one, maybe just uh, if you're not used to doing that kind of thing, the stretch from the third to the seventh fret on the last position is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> that, that was not a pun, sorry. So yeah, that might be a little tricky at first, but I'm sure you can get there easily. I don't have big hands and it, it kind of gets there. And the Les Paul scale definitely helps with that as well. But with that said, let's have a look at the picking hand. And that's pretty much it for the first part of the introduction. Now let's have a look at the main riff for the song. Now, um, just FYI, I forgot to mention that when we started that section, the song is tuned in drop D. That means taking your standard E tuned guitar and dropping the low E down to D. And that makes a power chord just look like this. Now it's also good to mention that if you're not familiar with the concept of time signature, you definitely got to get acquainted to it through uh, tool and lateralis especially. Time signature is the number of bars within a measure and it's quite changing within tool but even just within this song which was originally uh, supposed to be named uh, 987 eight, nine, because the time signature changes from 98 to 88 to 78 which is also part of the Fibonacci sequence and, and the whole madness behind the song. I won't go into too much detail on it, there's enough conspiracy theories on the internet for that. It's a good read though, but be aware that the time signature definitely changes from this point on. And with that said, let's have a look at our fretting hand. <laughs> Again, nothing too complicated about this riff, the chords, all the speed of it aren't too crazy, but the time signature is really the thing that's going to take some time to get used to, for sure. But with that said, let's have a look at the picking hand. 
And that's it guys, I guess you have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Lateralis by Tool. Now again, and I cannot stress that enough, this is not a bullet point list of things to get and things to do to sound like Adam Jones because you would need three to five amps, six to eight cabs, different pedals, a different pickup in a guitar with a nail in it because that's definitely where the sound comes from. So yeah, these are just mere recommendations. There are some more in the description box down below. While you're here, please leave me a comment. Let me know which song you'd like to see here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, be safe, keep making music, and I will see you next Monday in a new episode of Head the Tone.